Hello and welcome to the Superpower Dare Die team. I'm Peter. And I'm Rick. And today we're having a look at episode one of the new Marvel TV series, Hawkeye. Uh, have you watched the other Disney Plus uh, Marvel shows? I have watched the other uh, Disney Plus ones. But, so is this, a, is this a, the fourth the fourth one that they've done? Oh, yeah, Wanda, uh, Loki. And the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Ah, oh, yes, I haven't seen that one. I've watched the others. Hawkeye. What did you think of the other ones, just briefly? Well, what I saw, like, I, I tried to get into um, Falcon and Winter Soldier and couldn't. Yeah, I, gave, um, I think I gave up on that one about episode three. I couldn't get but into I really, it. I, I did really like, I liked WandaVision and I really liked Loki. Okay. Because um, I, I thought WandaVision was okay. I thought it was a good idea, but I think it went too long. Yeah. And then I didn't bother with Loki. No, I, I, I thought both of those were fine. But to me, Marvel's standard in TV series is um, the Daredevil uh, series that with, I can't think of his name now, Charlie. Charlie Cox. Yeah, Charlie Cox. Um, and um, I liked The Punisher and I liked Jessica Jones. I really to liked me, um, Agent Carter. I thought that was really good. Hawkeye. But that only lasted. Oh, no, I, two I never seasons, watched that I one. Think. Yeah, yeah. I reckon that's. And I didn't mind Agents of Shield as like a guilty pleasure type thing. I was a bit disappointed that that got cancelled. I thought that was a, a good show. I, I I didn't really see the point of it, so I didn't watch it. No. So obviously it had an audience. Hawkeye. Speaking of not seeing the point, um, I watched the first episode of Hawkeye. Um, so uh, Wikipedia says the premise of the Hawkeye TV series is one year after the events of Avengers Endgame Clint Barton must partner with Kate Bishop to confront enemies from his past as Ronan in order to get back to his family in time for Christmas I watched it I I liked it it was okay I really liked I think so for me uh, Hawkeye and Probably Black Widow too, which is two met characters. I think yeah, well, you they, saw the Black Widow they weren't from... really given. They're, they're sort of the characters that don't really have any superpowers. Like, yeah, one's a, an yeah. assassin and, think, and one shoots arrows. And they, I think they fail against when you're talking about you know invincible people. They can't. It's like, why? Why are you there? Like, if the everybody, if it was a, a team of like specialist people that didn't have superpowers, and they would yes, fit right they in, they would but absolutely because, fit in. Yeah, you know, they because they're with a, a god and a and a Hulk yeah. monster. It doesn't so, really. Yeah, if it was a Mission Impossible movie, great. Yeah, um, but they just don't. For me, they don't say, uh, fit into an Avengers. And it world, doesn't. So. Like, it doesn't make sense that they're still falling from buildings and not getting scratches on them and. And they, yeah. they don't have any powers. Yeah, uh, and yes. So, but I I, I really liked how um, Clint was set up in this one. Yeah. Um, uh, I liked that, obviously, the producers have gone, yeah, everyone kind of thinks he's that kind of, not a nobody, but he, he accepts the fact that like people just kind of look at him as uh, yeah, that one. Yeah, I think there's some really nice touches in this. I don't. I mean, he got some not, appreciation at the the restaurant and stuff. We're not. We're not going to go into spoilers. spoilers, aren't we? No, I don't think no spoilers in this one. No, uh, we'll just give it a general. What about when the um, dad dies at the beginning? Can we talk about that? Yeah, we will talk about that though. <laughs> I like how they treated Hawkeye's character. Like he's kind of like, okay, I'm used to being treated as the other one. Um, they really played up on that in that in this pilot did, um, episode, but yeah, I thought so. Like, did he have all those kids in the other movies? I thought he just had a I daughter. I thought he had two. <laughs> I thought he just he, had the daughter, who I think was a different actress in the last in the End Game. I thought he had two, but and they disappeared. But then yeah, he's got know. he's got about twenty five now, and yeah, so maybe it's like a whole whole tribe of them. Maybe he just. Adopted a few because that's him. that's his superpower. And so the new the new oh, character wow. is that's a pregnant pause. <laughs> the new character is Kate Bishop, and who's a 
fan of Hawkeye from a kid. She saw him in the um, yeah, the invasion. Do, I'm, yeah. I do not know Hawkeye uh, lore no. t- comics at all, but clearly she's a character because episode one focuses more on her than um, than Hawkeye. Well, he's like yeah. a supporting character, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. supporting character. He's just kind of there in the background in the movies and in his own TV show. He's a supporting character in this first episode. Look, I know they've got a lot to set up. I, I understand this is only six episodes, so yeah. I actually think that that's good. I like it. Keep well, it's it good tight. when they have a short story, yeah. Like yeah, it's not it... like a long movie and a short series sort of thing. It's um... yeah. yeah. Oh, otherwise, they maybe just didn't have enough material to write maybe. about. So I, after I watched it, I looked up because I, I wasn't sure who the, the actress who played um, Kate was. So yeah. I looked it up and it's actually um, her character is listed as Hawkeye. So maybe the Hawkeye of the series is yeah. Kate Bishop. So maybe she takes over from Hawkeye. I don't, I don't know yeah. the Marvel series either. No, regardless. And they set her up. They set her up as like wanting to learn archery and they set her up as a black belt in karate. Like the mum just has a throwaway line about it. So it's not just who is this girl that can do all these things. They've actually like laid some ground. Yeah, yeah, like to me, it sort of feels like their series are about characters. They don't think deserve a, like a full feature length movie. So they <laughs> relegate them to the TV shows. Probably. I mean, it might not be the case, but it just, when you look at the, the ca- the movies that they've made or the TV series they've made about the characters, like you think, oh, I don't know. Yeah, but I think those are the characters that actually deserve a better, a more fleshed out story because possibly, they can't be or possibly part of the they big explosions they can't there. afford the um, the actors for the the big stars maybe to do a series. I think what I liked about this is kind of um, it was light on massive action set pieces. There was a couple yeah. in there. But it was, it was done well in that sort of regard. So I quite it, like the it, I quite like the fight in the um, the cell, like the wine cellar where they were using the yeah, bottles. No, it was a bit it was good. Yeah. Jackie Chan esque. She was unpolished. Yeah. So she she so she's made mistakes. Perfect. Yeah, she wasn't great. But, but see, this is it, it is more for a kids' audience, I guess. So yeah, it's Disney. So the thing that affected not. me the most was when the dog got kicked. Like I cringed. Like I'd just seen what probably half a dozen Russians get beaten up, but I saw a dog get kicked, and I was like, "Oh, I felt okay, I felt bad so for this, the dog." This tells you how heartless I am because I don't <laughs> I don't remember that one at all. Well, at um, least I might not care about the humans, but at least I care about the dog. Yeah, unlike you, I care about the story. You. He's got one eye. Do you reckon that's CG or is, have they found a dog with one eye? <laughs> what else have we got to talk about? So getting back to Hawkeye, there's a couple of like fairly well-known people in it. Um, uh, yes. Oh, Vera, actually, is it Vera yeah. or Vera? Vera Farminga? I... She's like in the Conjuring movies and was in that Bates Motel show. She's been in quite a few horror movies. She's a good actress. The last thing I saw her in was a movie called Boundaries with Christopher Lloyd. Is anyone still watching this? Are people oh, come for the Lloyd news. So uh, to the two people out there watching us, thanks. Um, uh, the other one, I I noticed a guy, I, could, I, like I was really... I was watching it going, I know who this person's from, uh, I know this person's face, I can't work it out, can't work it out. I had to look it up. Um, Simon Callow, which, yeah. uh, Four Weddings and the Funeral. Ace house. Ventura, Pet Detective 2. I think that's the movie you got after Four Weddings and the Funeral. I don't think he disappeared for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. Oh, my God, what have I done? Hawkeye. I think uh, he ended up... Um, in that movie, um, being um, courted by a gorilla, if I remember correctly. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what happened to Pete Postlewaite too, another fine English oh, actor. He, who, he's dead. Hawkeye. As a, as a first episode of a six-episode TV series, I'll probably keep watching till the end. Yeah. 
I just Cause... like there's so much out there, like so much available to us. I think a first episode really has to fight hard to grab your attention. So I'd probably watch it if other people told me that it was worth keep going. But just off my own bat, I probably wouldn't care if I didn't ever see it again. I'm just not that. I mean, the dog's probably the thing I'm most interested in. Like, I'm not sure if I'm interested in the characters apart from the dog. But give it a shot if you're kind of into this thing. I liked it because it didn't have big set pieces. There was no, um, it, it was more introspective and about developing a character a bit more. And I like the dog. Well, thank you for watching. This episode was a bit of a different format than the other ones that we've done. If you would prefer an episode like this, you can mention it in the comments. Or if you prefer our old way of doing it, you could mention it as well. But please be kind. You can uh, subscribe to our channel. That would really help us build our channel up. And you can follow us on social media. We've got a Facebook, uh, Instagram and a Twitter page. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. I thought that worked well. See you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>